So right now you're probably thinking, you're thinking, really Damien, a Honda IMA, what's next? And the answer to that question, folks, now this is not just any ordinary Honda IMA. This one is going to be used for a special purpose. This one has a date with a bucket. That is, if I can get the bolts out of it, which I probably can't. I know. Oh, it's just a pin. Okay, that's all right. Now, some more bolts. So, yeah. Turned out, my local scrap heap made me another one of their offers that I couldn't refuse on this motor. And I said, why the hell not? Not really realizing that it was just what I needed for today's video. Now I know this can be confusing and you're also probably thinking at this point that my odds on that guest speaker invite at Weber State has just taken another horrible dive. And that's probably true. So, looks like about 400 micro henrys or half a milli henry is our inductance at least at one kilohertz according to my cheap eBay meter between our various phases. Okay, that is actually enough and I think it's going to work. I know, right? Probably not making much sense. But mega prizes, if anyone can guess at this point what it is that I'm doing. Apart from cross threading bolts, of course. There we go. One bolt succeeded to not cross thread. Come on, folks, what am I doing here? Answers on a YouTube comment. Apart from going slowly mad. And yeah, losing my guest speaker position at Weber State once again. All right, nearly there. One more to go. There. Now we just gotta go over here. Would be a normal thing to do. Well, be. MG2, wouldn't it? Where else am I going to get true face? Where else are we going to load up our inverter in a controlled manner? we go. Ready to rock and roll. Okay, that's giving us something to think about. 11 amps. Basically, we're pushing 50 hertz AC in here, three phase into our windings. And this is working as an inductor to simulate a motor. Now, in there, we should have, at this point, something of a magnetic field. So, I got something magnetic. No, not more happening. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. A little bit of magnetism going on. Okay. Let's run some more current through this thing. Uh, let's go for 35%. Take two. Okay, 
small bit of corn flour. That's more like it. 20 amps. Forty-seven. Fifty-eight amps. Sixty-nine amps. And we're getting some interesting. Uh, Oh god, yeah, that's quite interesting. Of course, the light just loves going off, doesn't it? Okay. Let's go for 42. 73. 79. Ninety-nine amps. It's hundred and ten amps. RMS AC per phase. Oh shit! Let's shut that off because we're obviously warming things up. Oh yeah, we're warming up nicely. Time to deploy coolant. Yes, yeah, so I don't think our Honda IMA was too happy at 100 amps. So let's see if we can um, see if we can chill it down somehow, shall we? Ah, cool off, cool off, baby. Cool your heels. Get some ATF. Oh crap. Oh god, there's 200 amps. Okay. Zero. Zero, Elon. Ah, emergency. It's gonna blow. Wow. Okay. Tell me you guys saw that. Tell me you guys saw that, please. We got 200 amps in there. Wow. Now this is at 4.4 kilohertz, switching into our trusty Honda IMA Gen 2 Tingley test load here. Wow, okay. Uh, let's see if we can sneak up on it this time. 5%. No, it's just done for 200 amps all the, all the damn time now. Okay, that's choked us back down a bit, okay. Right. Two percent. Oh God! Yeah, there's a hundred and there's two hundred amps, folks. So, anyone still don't believe me that this thing can take higher currents than previously imagined? percent to get at that. Oh god. That is just super scary. Five percent. Four percent. Wow. My poor Honda is not gonna like that. The VTEC will not kick in, yo. Wow. Oh, go, yeah, those six square cables don't really like it either, but hey. So there you go, folks. Um, 
testing your That oil is hot. It's actually bubbling. Let's get a temperature for all some of the windings. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely warm things up. I got 50 degrees centigrade in there. Um, yeah, it looks like it's well where oil cooling this inductor. Okay, um, so uh, that's very interesting. Um, I think this is one of my current sensors. Let me see if we can scope it here for a second. Okay, so got a current sensor reading here on the scope. And I'm showing a very nice sine wave uh, going in there with 20 amps. So pretty cool. I'll show you guys the scope soon, but I want to see if we start getting distortion in the sign, which would indicate that we're saturating our inductor load, which I'd say we probably are. Still a sign at that. Still getting a sine wave here. Uh, 67 amps. Eighty-eight amps. Still getting a sine wave. Hundred and eight amps. Still on a sine wave. One thirty. Ten volts peak to peak right now. Still a sine wave at one hundred and fifty amps. Temperature 46 degrees and climbing. Still sine wave, 170 amps. Still on a sine, 177. It's 180 amps, I'm still showing a sine wave. I'm gonna run stop the scope and shut down. Now I know that some people didn't quite think that the Prius inverter would be able to take the currents that I was demonstrating um, just with the 12 volt car ba battery on a repeat basis or would they generate a sine wave. So this I stopped the scope here when we were uh, looking at the last corns about 200 amps um, We've got 50 Hertz sine wave um, No distortion in it. So it was generating 50 Hertz AC pushing that out of mg2 and we were seeing uh, plus and minus 7 volts uh, pretty much 7 volts swing above and below for about 14.3 volts peak to peak coming out of our current sensor. So we are able to measure at least 200 amps um, and it's, it's doing it. It's generating a sine wave at that current. So we're not shutting down, we're not clipping, we're generating sine waves. Okay, see what we get this time. Oh crap, there's 200 amps again. Stop doing that to me. And put our scope back on. Let's see if we are actually generating signs at that. Keep going down, five volts per division. Yes, we are. We're generating a sine wave at 195 amps. We're maxed out on voltage, guys. Yeah. We're basically maxing on the voltage. We're at 72 degrees in our 
windings now, so I want to let them cool down. Basically, our DC bus is being supplied by that battery over there that you see with the vice grips quick disconnect uh, attached to it. That is a 48 volt lithium titanate uh, battery. So that's providing our DC bus and uh, it looks as if we can get about 200 amps AC into our um, into our dummy load um, at that. Uh, we're not tripping down the inverter. Uh, it is a little bit warm. Keeping in, in mind we have no liquid cooling at all going through our Prius inverter and I'm pushing 200 amps RMS um, through this thing so yeah okay